Lord loves, he disciplines and he scourges every son whom he receives. The word scourge means to flog, beat or lacerate with a whip. Now, I want you to understand something. The wrath of God for God's people was extinguished on the cross of Calvary. There is not one drop of wrath left for his people. So when we talk about God's discipline, even when it's severe, it is in love. He loves you so much. He will not share you with another. He loves you so much. He won't allow you to give yourself to impurity. He will move heaven and earth. He will cut you to pieces rather than allow you to remain unholy. You do not have that option. You do not have that option. Now, what is the purpose of persecution? In verse 35, it uses the word refine. It can refer to testing or proving or to refining. So it can refer to the separation of the gold from the dross. Okay, but that's not just privately, but also corporately. When persecution comes, what happens? The true church comes to the top as gold. Or rather, the. The impurities come to the top and are scraped off and then gold is left. Now, people ask me a lot, they go. What do you think about all these prosperity preachers and prosperity movements and all these people who rob and steal on these a lot of these TV evangelists, not all of them, but a lot of these TV evangelists and things? It's just horrible. What do you think about them? I said, well, it's it's within the decrees of God and there's a purpose for it. (laughs) What could be the purpose for this? Here's the purpose for this. There are many, many people who are simply religious, religious and mystical. If these heretical prosperity preachers were not out there. Those that kind of people would be in the church and would be tearing it apart. God allows the heret, the, the heretic, the prosperity preacher and all these men to arise and it draws out of the church. People who would do nothing but corrupt it because their God is their belly. It is not Jesus Christ. It's just like in the old days when there was poison, there was a bite of a serpent on an arm. They would lay a hot or warm compress upon that wound and it would suck out the venom. In the same way, God will allow these heretics to rise up. Why? In order to suck out from his people. The carnal and the greedy and those who love their stomach and do not love God and get them as far away from the church as he can. But he'll also use persecution for the same reason to refine the church, to purge the church and to make the church pure. Three different words are used here and they're all very Like one another. The idea is God allows this in order to refine us. To refine us. Now, here's the 